Lidmar LMTV, Lidmar Television. Lidmar, your news starts now. Hey, Lindmar, it's Friday, November 2nd, 2018. It's Cookie Monster's birthday. Here's what's going on today across campus. Our top story. Tomorrow marks the anniversary of the tragic event that could have easily been avoided. Watch this. Hi, I'm Jenny Perez, and these are my daughters, Mia and Elysia. Unfortunately, two of my daughters couldn't be with us today. On November 3rd, 2016, we were in a horrible car crash. Selena Apodaca and Bella Severson did not make it through that car crash. You see, someone decided that it was okay to text and drive. And this is what my car looks like because of it. And now Alicia is permanently disabled on, um, and partially paralyzed on her right side. I broke my neck. I was internally decapitated and my brain detached from its brain stem and I had a 1% chance of living all because someone wanted to send a three letter text. This crash was 100% preventable. Please think of us when you pick up your phone in the car. Are you willing to risk your life or someone else's life to send a text message, a Snapchat, search on the internet, Facebook, Twitter. After the crash, a group was created. It's called Stop While Driving, standing together opposing phones while driving. We ask you today, please, in memory of Selena and Bella, to stay off your phones when you're in the car. If you'd like more information about the Stop group, you can contact Elysia or Mrs. Mooney. Um, we'd be happy to have more people join. Thank you. Remember, Linmar, don't text and drive, or let distractions keep you from driving safely. In other news, hey seniors, if you were not able to attend homeroom yesterday, please stop by the 1112 office and pick up your order packet to know how to order your cap and gown for graduation. The first weekend of the new quarter is almost here. The team of Tatum and Kai are here with your LMTV Weekend Report, guys. This is Maddie. The big event on the campus today is tonight's Jazzathon. It starts at 4.30 in the South Commons. Tomorrow, Linmar teams will be taking part in some intense competition all across the state. The girls' state swimming and diving meet is this weekend to Marshalltown. Math team is competing at Waverly Shell Rock. The Palm Solo competition is in Newton. And the competition cheer contests are going on at the state fairgrounds in Des Moines. There are four new movies this weekend. Nutcracker Four Realms. All Clara wants is a one-of-a-kind key that will unlock a box holding a priceless gift from her late mother. A golden thread presented to her at Godfather's annual holiday party leads her to the coveted key, which promptly disappears into a strange and mysterious parallel world. Bohemian Rhapsody. The film traces the rise of the band Queen through their iconic songs and revolutionary sound. The Happy Prince. The untold story of the last days and the tragic times of Oscar Wilde. Nobody's fool. Trying to get back on her feet, a wild child looks to her buttoned up by the book's sister to help her get back on track. That's her weekend. Make it a great one. Maddie, back to you. Thanks, guys. Who will win the Fill the Grocery Carts competition? Ninth and 10th graders, the staff, or the juniors and seniors? The real winners will be those who need food from the Linmar Wildcat Food Pantry. Donate your non-perishable food items outside your grade level counselor's office. The staff is donating in the main office. Thank you for showing your pride, Linmar. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. Welcome back. If you're going to Tuesday's volleyball game, you must have your parents call you out by contacting your attendance office by Monday at 3.30. That's a look at our top stories at this hour. 
In addition, in addition to what the Weekenders mentioned and some nice volleyball action, any sophomore boys going out for basketball, sign up closes today, go to the athletic office. All boys, sophomore basketball players must attend a meeting Monday morning at 8 in Coach Printy's room. And guys interested in track and field, if you missed this morning's meeting, see Coach Hoffman. And all conference honors out to Micah Paulette. She is your TV9 Athlete of the Week. That's Sports Maddie, back to you. Thanks, Alec. And news from the counselors. Valparaiso University will be in the College Career Center today at 1030. For more information on this story, you can stop by your counselor's office or check out their website. Now, here's Kale with the Arts and Clubs. On the arts and club scene, next week, Student Council is sponsoring a fundraiser for the Haycat Food Reservoir. The third block or fifth period class that collects the most money will win a pizza party. Voice will meet Thursday morning at 8 in the ELL room. The annual Soda Co-Ed Volleyball Tournament is next Friday, November 9th at 645, 6.45 in the main gym. See Coach Mr. McCauley for a team entry form. The next thespian meeting is set for Monday at 3.30 in Mrs. Smith's room. All thespians are invited to attend. That's Arts and Clubs. Maddie, back to you. Thanks, Kale. Hey, Alec, what's for lunch today? Well, for lunch downstairs, you may choose your own path as the personal pan pizza or the hamburger bar comes to town. And upstairs in the food court, it's the hot dog bar. That's Lunch, Maddie. Back to you. Thanks, Alec. Now, weather caster, caster Audrey Vint is here with your LMTV weekend forecast. Audrey, what's it looking like? Well, Maddie, your LMTV forecast calls for a rainy weekend. Today looks cloudy with a high of 56, but we will see a significant chance of rain on Saturday and Sunday with a high of 53. And while you're inside watching the rain this weekend, don't forget to set your clocks back an hour on Saturday night. Maddie, back to you. Thanks, Audrey. Now, that wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the Limar website or follow us on Twitter. On behalf of the entire cast and crew, thank you for watching. Join us again on Monday, Lenmar, and have a fantastic weekend.